Hey, back for more Shakespeare. So yesterday we got the first part of Oliver's story, and if you remember from the beginning of the play, Oliver and Orlando don't really get along, and then as soon as Rosalind and Celia disappear from court, Celia's father, the Duke, sends Oliver out to like look for them, try to find them. So the first part of the story that Oliver told to Rosalind and Celia yesterday was that Orlando is sort of walking through the forest and he sees this grubby, grimy man like sleeping near a tree and there's a snake wrapped around his neck and Orlando makes a move and the snake goes away but then they also see that there's a lion hiding in the bush because lions hide in bushes and forests, I guess that's a thing. Um, <clears throat> and the lion like leaps to attack at which point we find out that it was actually Oliver that was sleeping against the tree. It was Orlando's brother. So now Orlando has rustled a lion to try to save his brother from being against a tree. And Rosalind and Celia are like, but you're kind of the jerk brother. And he's like, but, no, but not anymore. Like now I'm a nice guy and whatever. And then Rosalind's like, and what's this bloody napkin that you're carrying? And he says, by and by when from the first to the last betwixt us two, tears our accountments had most kindly bathed, as how I came into that desert place. In brief, he led me to the gentle duke, who gave me fresh array and entertainment, committing me unto my brother's love, who led me instantly unto his cave. There stripped himself, and here, upon his arm, the lioness had torn some flesh away which all this while had bled and now he fainted and cried in fainting upon Rosalind. Brief, I recovered him, bound up his wound, and after some small space, being strong at heart, he sent me hither, stranger as I am, to tell this story that you might excuse his broken promise and to give this napkin died in his blood unto the shepherd youth that he doth, that he in sport doth call his Rosalind. So yeah, let's say a dude's supposed to meet up with you in like an hour and then sends his brother instead and his brother's like, he scared away a snake and rustled a lion to save my life. So he's a little late because now he's missing a chunk of his arm. I'd forgive him. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow.